everybody. Happy Sunday to you, and thanks so much for tuning in to my weekly top five cigar picks. Of course, these are the cigars coming straight out of my humidor, hopefully making their way into yours for your week of smoking. Starting with number five, we have this beautiful Ocean Breeze. This is from Lampert Cigars. This came to me in my Luxury Cigar Club shipment, and this is one that I've had now a few times, and it's very nice and kind of like light and just easy, good flavor. It's a very nice Sunday smoke, if you will. So the Ocean Breeze is featuring an Ecuadorian wrapper, Ecuadorian binder, undisclosed filler. Again, kind of like a light, there's a little bit of a saltiness to it, light pepper, slight cedar in the background, and just again, real, a real easy smoke, a very nice kind of refreshing, relaxing type of cigar. So very nice. Moving along to number four this week is this cigar that I just lit up. This is the Casa Cuevas Patrimonio. And this is a beautiful collaboration. Of course, the Casa Cuevas team consists of um, a big family. And they're, I've been fortunate enough to meet them and see them at different cigar events. And it's just lovely to see um, three generations, in fact, of um, grandfather, son, and grandson that are working together and creating these beautiful blends and just, um, you know, wonderful people supporting their brand along their whole entire family. So just a really nice, um, a nice family run operation, which I love to see. So again, the Casa Cuevas Patrimonio, this one is featuring a Honduran Corojo wrapper, Ecuadorian Habano binder, Peruvian, Nicaraguan, and Dominican on the filler, featuring notes of rich tobacco, black pepper, anise, a little bit of a muddled citrus, as well as some cocoa notes. It's definitely a fuller bodied stick. Uh, very balanced and a very beautiful um, profile on this one. Moving along to number three, we have this La Gloria Cubana Criollo de Oro. And I love the Art Deco throwback on the band. Of course, La Gloria Cubana's band has always been one that stood out to me among my favorites. Um, I just love the whole overall presentation. And again, this one with that more uh, kind of throwback Art Deco 1920s type of feel to it. Uh, just really, really eye-catching. I love the, the way that they went with the color skew and just everything about this band is really nice. So the Gloria Cubana is featuring a Criollo de Oro wrapper, Connecticut broadleaf on the binder, Nicaraguan and Honduran filler. This one gives you sweet tobacco, kind of a damp earth. A little bit of orange peel and some sun-drenched cedar. There's a light spice to it in the background but a really nice offering again coming out of the Gloria Cubana portfolio, this one being the Criollo de Oro. Number two this week is the Protocol Sir Robert Peel in the Maduro. This one is no stranger to my list. I have featured it many times because it is a extremely flavorful, um, well-balanced, just a really nice cigar. And again, kind of um, paying tribute to the father of modern day policing. So the Sir Robert Peel available in a natural and Maduro. I prefer the Maduro, really flavorful stick. This one is featuring a Pennsylvania broadleaf wrapper, Nicaraguan binder and filler, beautiful notes of black pepper, mocha. There's a nice little kind of a dusted cocoa in the background, light citrus and a little bit earthy. And again, nice uh, medium to full bodied, uh, nice flavor on it. I, I like it with coffee. You could also do it with a rum or perhaps even like a bourbon in the evening if that's more up your alley, but just a really, really flavorful cigar. And number one this week is going out to the Zeno Platinum Grand Master. This one I chose for number one. Um, it is a heavier price point. You can find these on Luxury Cigar Club, by the way, shout out to them. But this one is really good for pretty much like all spectrums of smokers. So if you're somebody that likes something on the, you know, fairly mild, mild to medium side of things, or you're looking for like a morning cigar, this one is excellent with coffee. You could have this in the evening with a spirit of choice. It's not so strong that it's gonna overpower anything. It's just a really easy smoke, very flavorful, featuring wonderful grade tobacco. And this one um, is using Ecuadorian wrapper, uh, US on the binder, 
Dominican and Peruvian on the filler. Again, it's creamy. There's a little bit of a, a coffee essence there. A little bit of cedar as well, but again, it's um, mild to medium on the overall profile. And again, really a nice stick for um, somebody that is either newer to smoking, doesn't frequently smoke, or would even appeal to those who are avid smokers. So it's kind of like something, again, hits all the spectrum of things, which I like when that happens. It's kind of giving more of a, a wider um, variety on that palette. So it's really nice and just an easy smoke. Again, perfect in the morning. If you're somebody that looks for that nice cigar with your cup of coffee in the morning, this is a great way to go. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day and a wonderful week ahead. Stay safe, stay blessed, and smoke some fabulous cigars. Cheers.